Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and we are going to build a quick and easy birthday card and let me go ahead and show you how. We're going to use this picture perfect birthday here and then we're just going to use a basic black as our background and then we're just going to choose one of these great little candy um, papers here and let's see we're going to choose this guy for a background and then you can choose I mean any of these that you'd like these nice big patterns we are going to um, choose the little gumball machine because you guys know I love gumball machines but you could um, they have um, sheesh I can't think of the name real quick but uh, they have thinlet dies for these now so I'll put that link down below if you want to check all that out um, because you can get all of this stuff here on my online store. You can also cut these out by hand. So let's go ahead and get started and just move along here. We're going to take all of this and move it out of the way. So then I have um, my host code there for you. In case you are ordering this month, go ahead and put that host code in if you're ordering less than $150. So we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna do a different um, cut today. Normally we cut it at five and a half and then score at four and a quarter. But this time we're going to cut at four and a quarter and then we're going to score at five and a half. There we go. And then if you don't know, this dark one is for cutting. The light one here is for scoring. So I'm just going to run that through a couple times and we get a nice score there. We'll save this for another card later on down the line so if you want to see how I use that piece make sure you subscribe and so now I have the perfect fold line we're gonna get out my bone folder and we're just gonna burnish that down make sure it lays nice and flat and I'm just gonna do the other side as well so now we have our nice little base here and you guys we're gonna open our card this way. We don't do that too often. So this is again at five and a half by four and a quarter. So I also wanted to cut two sheets of the Whisper White. They're the exact same size and I get a quarter inch off of each. So we're looking at five and a quarter by four. And then one of these are for the outside. One of them are for the inside. And then I took this piece here and that is cut down at another quarter of an inch taken off so you're looking at three and three quarters by five now and then that'll give you a nice little white border there and then we're going to set that on the black and look at that great little base so it's going to be really quick really simple i do want to add a little um, few things here and there but let's start with the quick stamping and then again you can um, cut this little guy out so we've got that we'll set that there and I'm gonna take some of the um, tool here and it's got some nice polka dots on there and I thought the polka dots would go good with um, excuse me, with the gumballs. So we're just gonna take a nice little piece there and cut that. I'm just gonna cut, take a piece that I could just wrap around. And tie in a nice little knot here. I'll just tie that while I have it. 
We've got some nice little polka dots showing through there. And then you can move it around however you'd like and place it wherever you'd like. So we've got that, we've got that. Now let's do some stamping. We want to do this happiest of birthdays to you. So I'm going to take that one off. And we're going to stamp it right on to this piece here. So now that I did that, I'm just going to stack that right on there. I can take this out just by folding it a little bit and setting it off to the side. And I really want in place, I want to know if I want this down at the bottom or this down at the bottom. And I think we're going to go this way. So that's how you know where you're going to be stamping. And then I'm just going to take some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And we are going to stamp right on top of this. So we're going to get that nice and juicy there. And I'm thinking I probably should have used my... You know what I think I'm going to? I'm going to use my Stamparatus. Changed my mind. Because the Memento doesn't always go as dark as I would like it. So, I'm going to stick this right here. I want this guy to be right about there. Right there. So I'm going to try and take this off without getting myself too dirty. There we go. And I think that's about where I wanted it. And this is nice because I can actually line these guys up as well. So I'm going to put this down. And then again, make sure that's where I want it, which, yes, that will work out great. Now, let's see if I made the right choice and see if it comes out too light on my paper. So I'm just going to put this on here. decided to go with the, let's see, no, we decided to go this way, yes, much better, and I'll tell you the reason I'm doing it is because I don't want this color to blend in with these colors, I want this to have a contrast and then this to have a contrast as well. Because if I do it the other way, then it kind of all blends in together. So just so you know why I was doing it. So I'm going to put that in the corner. I am going to put my magnet down just in case I have to re-ink. Which I'm pretty sure I have to with this because I really want it to be nice and dark. So I'm going to take this, push it down. Just rub it. Take it right off. And yeah, I think I do want it a little bit darker. Although it did come out qu quite nice. And you could always emboss this as well. But look at how nice and dark that came out. So that's why I like to use the Stamparatus, just in case. And then I'll just get out my cleaner real quick. Pop this guy out. Wipe everything off there. I 
This is really a great little guy. I like that I can take it out and just rub that there. And we'll put this away. And you guys, that, that's really a quick and easy birthday card because I'll just show you. Um, we'll wind this up to show you how quick and easy this card comes together. So, again, we're going to take this and we're going to put it at an, this angle here. Let's go ahead. I'm going to use my um, Tombow glue to put this part on the inside. And then you could Uh, you could as well stamp on here too. But I like the Tombow because it allows you to move around just a little bit to get it all nice and centered in there. And then you just smooth it down and you're good to go. And then for this side, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow on here. And I like to get it near the edges. but still enough room to move around. And then you just stick that guy down there. And there you go. And then smooth that out as well. And that gives you a nice, nice little base. Even if you didn't have the background, you could still put this guy here with that happy birthday. So we've got this guy here. We're just going to put him on and move him around how we like it. And I really want this to go straight out like that. And I want it to be a little straighter. I straighten it all out beforehand. There we go. And then I'm going to take this guy and I want him to be nice and flat. So rather than using the liquid glue, I'm going to be using the snail adhesive. And I'm going to make sure I get this guy all the way at the edges there. And I'm also going to go over the ribbon because I want that ribbon to stay in place. And then put a little bit in the middle there. And then we're gonna take and line this all up. Look how cute that's coming out already. And then we're gonna take this guy and we're going to pop him up a little bit. So we're going to get some dimensionals. And this again is thinner paper. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have enough of the dimensionals on there. I think three is more than enough. And I'm just going to take my pickup tool to get these guys off of there. stick this right on here I think right about the middle is fine super cute I'm gonna cut this down just a little bit little angle there and then I took some of my uh, pearls here and made little gumballs and so I'm just gonna put them 
around in different spots kind of in different contrasting areas and how did I color my pearls so I just used let's see here all I did was take my Stampin' Blends uh, markers or Sharpie markers can be used as well and you just take them and color them and let them dry and it comes out in that nice shade there so then you're gonna just take your pearl it'll pop right off there and then you place it wherever you like it and it can be literally anywhere that would be cute right there right And so now we've got this quick and easy card. Stamped it with that. Cut this little guy out, either uh, fussy cut or, um, again, these papers have framelits for whatever you choose to put on here. And then the pearls, super cute, super quick and easy. And I love opening it this way. So if you guys like this card, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment below and tell me um, if you have ever colored in your pearls like this. And if so, what do you use? All right, beauties. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.